Welcome to the R video tutorial on using R Studio. This is part of STAT 321. In this video, our goals are to enter code into the console, open an editor, run code from the editor, add comments to our code, look at our environment, and learn how to organize our work using working directories. Let's get started. Once you've opened up R Studio, you should see a screen that looks like this. The background I have on this console part for me is black because I've set the settings that way and if you play around with the settings you'll find it as well that it's pretty easy to change these. Alright, so in this you also have an environment area which will show you values and variables and data sets that you have that you have already loaded and that you can work with. In this panel you have more information, for example you have the help that should be up immediately. There's also a place where you can install contributed packages. This will pop up in just a second. And these are the contributed packages I have loaded. It will also hold a place for plots if you have any plots that you've done. It will also have a place for files. So any files that you have, and this would be really useful when we talk about working directories here in a second. And there's also a viewer over here. I'm just going to leave it at help for right now. Okay, so over here on the left is what's called the console. And the console is where you will enter in your code if you want to run it directly. So, for example, I can type in uh, any operation. So if I type in 5, I get 5 back. I can uh, do simple mathematics, 15 plus 5, and I get 20 back. And notice the answer shows up right after uh, the place where I enter in the, the data or the code. I can also assign a variable. So I'm going to assign one to A1, and I'm going to assign it to the value 5. And I notice nothing happens over here in the console. However, if I look over here at the environment, I see A1, and it has the value 5 associated with it. So when I create a variable, it will show up over here. When I import a data set, it will show up over here. So this is what the environment is going to allow us to do. Now, we don't want to run all of our code directly from the console. What we would like to do is open up an editor, type our code in the editor, and then run it from there. So to open up an editor, what we would do is come up here to the top left. You'll see this plus sign on a page. Click the little down arrow. You can see the different types of editors that it will bring up. You can do an R script, R notebook, C++, HTML, etc. So I'm going to up, just open up an R script. This opens up an editor, and notice it squashes down the console. And this is the place where I can actually type in some code and then run it from the editor, uh, which will automatically put it into the console. So, for example, A1, and I'm going to use the assignment operator here, 5. Uh, and notice nothing happened. It didn't actually run it yet. I'm going to do B1 equals 10. And then what I can do is I can highlight this. Go over here to the Run button. Once I click the Run button, it will push it down to the console. So if you looked, it pushed it down here. So the code shows up here. But also look over here at the environment. I see that B1 shows up and it has the value 10. I1 was already there and had the value 5. We can create other items here as well. For example, we can create C1, which will be our first introduction to something that has more than one value, which would be a vector. So I'm just going to put 4, 5, and 6. So this vector will contain 4, 5, and 6. I can highlight it. Once I've highlighted it, I can run it. Once I've run it, R knows it exists now, and you can see over here that this created a new variable or value. It says it's a number. Its size is 3, and its values are 4, 5, and 6. Now, this works for small values or small vectors, but it doesn't really work well for big ones, so just keep that in mind. Uh, you're not going to be able to see every single value in these, these vectors when you're working with them. All right, how do we add some comments? So, for example, how do I add some comments to this? Well, commenting is extremely important and something I'm going to really emphasize. When you comment, comment well, comment what you're thinking, comment as much as you possibly can. Because when you come back to your code six, seven months later, 
you need to be able to re rethink what you just did. So the comment code here is the little hashtag or pound sign or whatever you want to call this symbol. And this is the comment code. So this is where I would comment some code. Here I'm going to write my comment. Assign 5 to A1 and 10 to B1. And that's what that did. Here I'm going to create another comment. I'm going to say something like create a vector where with values 4, 5, and 6 into C1. And when you run a comment, absolutely nothing happens. And that's the idea of a comment. It ignores that so that you can write notes to yourself, but it doesn't affect the code in any way, shape, or form. So if I were to highlight this and run all of this, I can. it'll push it down here to the console. Now, if you want to come over here to your environment, you can clean it out using this little button over here. So if we clear the objects from the space, it'll ask, are you sure you want to delete these? Because maybe you really don't. Maybe you hit it on accident. Uh, and then just say yes. Okay. Now they're all gone. They're nowhere around. So what we can do now is if we run all of this, notice it all comes back. And we can do this, uh, run this code in blocks. And it's, it's pretty easy to do. So this should get you going on typing code in and commenting it. The other item that we really need to work on is figure out how to get a working directory. And a working directory is a place that all of your work is going to go to, where you're going to have your files stored. It's just a folder, essentially. So there are several ways to do this in R, and I'm going to show you the, the simple way first, which is using code. And I always recommend you use code because you might forget where you put things later. Uh, the code is set WD. Open up your parentheses, and then it'll automatically put up a closed one. Put in your quotes because you have to know the path to where you're going. I'm going to use, since I'm on a Mac, I'm going to use a tilde, and then I'm going to just use desktop. So this will put all of my work on the desktop when I'm working with things. Is that a really good idea? Depends on who you are. I particularly don't like to do that. I like to have subdirectories where I can put my information. But this is a simple one that should work for most people. Now, if you're on a Windows machine, you're going to have to know the complete path to your desktop. If you're on a Linux or a Mac machine, this little uh, tilde or twiddle always works. I haven't really tried it on a Windows machine. But if I do that, what it does is it changes where R is looking for files and where it wants to put files. So if you're going to be reading in data, which you'll learn in a later video, you want to set your working directory to where that data is located, and then you can read the data directly in. Thank you. I hope you've learned a little bit about how to use RStudio and look forward to you watching the next video.